traffic chaos. <sighs> Gigi looks like a slice of lesbian heaven, which I want to consume respectfully, you know? I have nothing else in my life. Please don't leave. Will Bet and Tina get back together? Ooh. Oh, we, we had better strap in. We had better strap in. There's a lesbian joke to be had. And I won't because I'm Christian. I don't, I'm, well, I mean, some, it depends. I mean, anyway, moving on. So I watched this trailer briefly yesterday, but it was very briefly and I didn't have a chance to kind of deconstruct it and take things in properly. So I thought we'd look at it together and we'd, we'd kind of break it down together right here, right now. You and I, this is why my life is awful. Is that Danny and Finley? My God, have we not suffered enough? Bet and Tina, we've already seen this clip, but I mean, sure, let's uh, let's rehash it again. What? Wait, 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 wait up, wait up. Who is that with Danny? Who is that with Danny? Because this woman looks like a mime. Is this Danny's new potential love interest? My God. Hashtag dime. Mm. Is Angie old enough to be having a hoe phase? I'm I'm not sure, but oh, okay. <gasps> Okay, okay, wait, I think that's Alice and another woman. Thank God Alice is back with women, you know, because there's enough heterosexual couples on this show, honey. There, There is, there's too many. One is too many, yeah. Oh, Gigi and Danny. Oh my gosh, they look so good together. My gosh, Gigi and Danny look good together. My God, I will take the crumbs and I will be grateful. Oh, and here's now. Oh my God, Gigi is looking good. She is looking like a fine wine. She is looking like a three course meal. I want inside me immediately. Oh my God, she's looking good. Sepida, please don't leave the show. I'm begging you. Is it something that I said in one of my reviews? Is, is that what's going on? I just, please, please stay. I know you can do better than this show, but I love you. Oh, Tina leaving Bet in tears. That's new. Oh, that feral scream. That took me back to the OG days, my gosh. Okay, so Danny's throwing shit at somebody's car. I'm gonna guess that's Gigi. I'm gonna guess that's Gigi because something happened between Gigi and Nat. That's that's what I'm going for. Yeah, that's been a long time coming with Shane. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised somebody didn't do that to her long ago. <gasps> Bet, my baby, who are you running to? Oh, Tina, of course. I'll be honest, you know, even from that two second clip, I can see the chemistry there. I can see the sparkle in Laurel's eye. I mean, Tina's eye. I mean, yeah, you, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, I'm a self-loathing Tibet shipper. Like I am over it and I'm tired, but there was a spark there, wasn't there? Oh my God, I hate this show. I hate my, no, I love myself. I... Oh my God, Alice has a kitten. Alice has a kitten, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, I love Leisha so much. Please don't put Danny with Finley. Please, we, we've suffered enough. Haven't we suffered enough? Please, Showtime, have a heart. Don't, don't thrust that upon, upon your audience, please. As usual, the positives are Bet and Gigi look absolutely divine and I want to dive into those waters. <laughs> okay, so on the plus side, at least we're gonna have a lot to talk about. I mean, there's gonna be drama and chaos and hookups every episode and I'm very much here for that, I am. It really looks to me like Gigi and Danny break up early on in this season and Danny goes into her hoe phase, as Angie puts it, and I don't really like the look of any of her potential new love interests. They just kind of seem like a poor substitute for Gigi. I mean, Danny and Gigi are special, so I just am really not about, ugh, like these other people. I mean, maybe if Danny hooked up with Bet, that's the only, thing that would be an improvement on Danny and Gigi and even then I, I don't know like how they would work together I mean I think it would be good but I don't know oh no I just think we should see Bet hooking up with more women instead of you know pining after Tina especially after Tina just kind of bursts into her house and makes her cry I mean 
Oh my god. This season looks like it's going to be a lot better put together than the previous two seasons. However, I don't think we're gonna like what happens between certain couples this season. I don't even know what to think. I mean, I don't even know what to think. What I will say is after watching this, I'm more excited about Alice's storyline in season three because my god, in season two it sucked. They really did Alice dirty in season two. So, you know, it looks like they're fixing that and oh my gosh that kitten was so so cute okay guys let me know your thoughts on that trailer and oh my god just on the chaos in general please let me know what you think down in the comment section below if you're a lesbian if you like to gossip about generation q and by gossip i mean complain come and join the suffolk underground club just come and join it you will be supporting women's voices lesbian content and this jelly which i don't think you're ready for <laughs> what jelly what what jelly destiny's child a genius for sampling stevie nicks they they are it was the collaboration of, dr of dreams it, it was don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and i'll see you guys soon bye